And I am Alan. And today we are here to talk to you about identity workflow. We've talked about all kinds of videos. I'm not going to recount them all because I'm starting to lose track. Uh, there's things like authentication, authorization, federation. Identity. I, what is identity? Um, and today we're going to talk, oh, we talked about self-service. That was we important did. around how people register and do password reset and things like that. And now we're going to talk about what happens when that's not enough, that you, you need identity work for. You need some kind of offline process uh, to potentially um, validate. Absolutely. So what is workflow? So workflow is essentially a set of steps that need to be done or a set of processing that needs to be done during the creation of an account. Yeah. Right? Uh, what it is, sky's the limit. Right? So for example, let's go back to what we looked at earlier. Yeah. A user creates an account, but now it's for a bank. Yep. Right? Now we know that in a bank, the user can't just create a bank account. Someone has to check it. Yeah. And so once they've created this account, we're going to want to run a workflow. Okay. And the workflow is going to do some validation. It's going to check whether this person actually exists, mm -hmm. and maybe do a credit check on them. Right? And based on the credit check, maybe there needs to be some additional things that need to be done. So you know what's funny about what you're laying out here? Is I just so happen to have <laughs> just a like complex that. workflow right here that speaks to what you're talking about. Exactly. So we create the user. Let's check with our cinematographer to make sure he can see. Do we have to see? You got it. You, you can got see. it. We okay. can see. Good. So the user comes in and registers. They create their account and they give in enough information for us to do some processing. Mm -hmm. That fires off this workflow. Okay. And for workflow, we can think it's a sequence of steps that need to be done. So first of all, Bertha has to validate the account. Okay. Um, make sure that it's not Donald Duck and do some basic things like, is there a phone number and is the address valid and things so like that. So at this institution, nothing happens without Bertha's approval. Not at all. Okay. Now, Bertha may be a group of people. Mm -hmm. Right? It could be multiple people who do that. Okay. Once Birth has approved it, it then goes off to an automated system. That automated system may be a call out to do a credit check. Okay, so it's calling out to a third party service? Some third party service. In this case, it happens to be done by a Commodore 64, but it could Apparently. be a more high powered system. Got maybe it. maybe so even an old Macintosh SE, <laughs> for example. <laughs> That's right. Okay. And now, as a result yeah, of know. that, that comes back, our bank has a policy that says, Anybody who's got a credit limit under or a credit uh, rating under 700 uh -huh. has to be approved by the manager. Okay. So in this case, you can see we've actually got a choice, and the workflow could say if it's less than 700, Walter has to approve. Walter has to go for it. Otherwise, you get the green line. Oh, I broke the green line. You broke the green line. <laughs> Have a green pen. Okay. <laughs> so you get the, the green workflow. line, and the green line means it's like. Pre-check, you get to go through nice and easy, and no one gets to disturb, and you get your account right, created. Right, that's awesome. Right, so that's basically what the workflow is all about. Now obviously, this is a simplified version, but you can have all kinds of uh, scenarios here. As you said, it's very open-ended. There's all sorts of problems you run into. What happens if Walter's on vacation? Okay. And so you've got to have some way to escalate the process, or some way to try again if Walter's not reading his email. So there's all sorts of things that can be taken the care of. The workflow is very intelligent in a sense. Yeah. It, it, kind of gives a lot of uh, It enables us to define logic. a business process. Okay. Um, so just to help our, our fans, let's make sure they can see the workflow video. And then, Alan, our next video. Thank you for helping with self-service. <laughs> our next video is going to be on... I was afraid you were going to kiss <laughs> me there. <laughs> it's just wrong. Identity <laughs> synchronization, right? Indeed. So all about provisioning across the enterprise and how you synchronize data across the enterprise.